It's time for Sumobot! Good day everyone! Today, we will be covering the steps to program a Python Sumobot using the INX ATX2 robot. Usual Sumobots only use one distance sensor. In this video, I will show you a more powerful way to track the robot opponent by using three distance sensors. One attached on the front, one on the left, and one on the right. Are you ready? First thing is to check the setup of your robot. Since we will focus on programming, make sure that your robot distance sensor and IR are assembled in this manner. Front distance sensor is connected to analog port A0. Left distance sensor is connected to analog port A1. Right distance sensor is connected to analog port A2. Left IR sensor is connected to analog port A3. Right IR sensor is connected to analog port A4. The next thing that we need to do is to calibrate the three distance sensor. How do we do that? Open your Arduino. Then click on the file menu, select example, basic, and analog grid serial. It will show the default program for calibration. This is what you need to download to your robot. Let's check that your distance sensor is connected to port A0 on the microcontroller. While the robot is on, let's try to upload the program. Once the downloading is complete, check the serial monitor. The serial monitor acts as a separator terminal that communicates by receiving and sending the serial data. The value increases when an object is close to the distance sensor, and the value decreases when an object is far away. For the left and right distance sensor, same program for calibration. But you have to change the analog port where you connected the sensor in the microcontroller. And for the left and right IR sensor, same steps and distance sensor calibration. All you have to do is to change the analog port where you connected the IR sensor of your robot. Now, Let's try to make a sample program for SumoBot with a 3 distance sensor. So here is the sample program for SumoBot. I use a variable for analog P0 which will hold the value of the front distance sensor as well as the A1, A2 for the left and right distance sensor and A3, A4 for the left and right IR sensor. For the initial movement of your robot is FD70. This command allows your robot to move forward at the speed of 70. For the first condition of our program is for the front distance sensor. If your front distance sensor detects an object with a value of greater than 200, it will do the program within the condition. The robot will move forward at the speed of 100 without any delay. And for the second condition, if the left distance sensor detects an object with a greater than 200 value, it will spin to the left with the speed of 100 and delay of 400. Same for the third condition, if the right IR sensor detects a value of greater than 200, it will spin to the right with a speed of 100 and delay of 400. So now let's proceed to the IR sensor, which is for the port condition. If your left IR sensor detects white line, the robot will move backward with a speed of 100 and delay of 800. It will spin to the right at the speed of 100 with a delay of 400. Lastly, for the right IR sensor, 
if the sensor detects a white line, it will move backward with the average speed of 100 and delay of 300. Then after that, it will spin to the left at the speed of 100 and delay of 400. So that's the sample program for our Zoomobot with 3 distance sensor. That's all for today. For more videos and tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.